All right, this is a demonstration of the Jevi Ultra working on an iPhone 4 that is on 5.0.1. So right here you can see we have a T-Mobile SIM card and we have a Jevi Ultra SIM adapter. This iPhone has already been jailbroken. It's on 5.0.1. It is an iPhone 4. So we're going to show you how this works. So first of all, you take the SIM card out. As you can see, it's on the table right here next to it. This is important because we're going to now do a tethered boot with red snow uh, to get the phone up and going because of course right now 5.0.1 is a tethered boot. So you go into red snow, you go into the extras, you go just boot. So now we're going to do the different steps that you're probably familiar with. We're going to get it into DFU mode. So we hold down both buttons. Now we're going to continue holding them down, we're going to let go of the power button, and we're going to hold down the home button for 14 seconds until the DFU mode is, com putting it into DFU mode is complete. Now, uh, if you're used to red snow, it's exploiting it with lime rain, uploading the first stage, uploading the second stage, we go through a couple of reboots, and eventually you'll see that the pineapple logo will pop up here on the home screen, there it is. Uploading the kernel, it's going to reboot again, and then we will have tether booted now. So we're going to unplug the iPhone from the computer. We're going to put the SIM cards, let's show them to you again. So we've got the T-Mobile with the Jevy Ultra right there. We're now going to take them with us over here where we're going to show you because we want to time it. It's important to time it. So we're going to put those in to the phone now. And we've got another iPhone here so that you can see for timing purposes. Okay, so the phone's coming on. Get it in the frame here so you can see them next to each other. And we're going to go in. To the, we're going to put the SIM in now that the phone is on. So we put that in in a second here, the phone app, the uh, phone settings options will become available. In a second here, you'll get a few more. And the Jevy Ultra screen will pop up telling you that it's a Jevy Ultra and giving you the various instructions that the Jevy does. So there's some of them. There's the Jevy Ultra, so we're going to hit the accept button. And in a few seconds, the SIM applications, oh, there it is already. Okay, so we hit SIM applications. Sometimes that takes a few seconds. It hit instructions. It'll bring up the uh, original Jevy screen. We hit accept. And now we hit the start button on our timer because you want to wait 20 seconds uh, before you make the call to 112. So we're going to go back out now. And now we're going to make the phone call here at about 20 seconds. So, and then of course we're, when you call 112, it's calling emergency, so there we call it, but we're going to call, hang up immediately so you really don't call the emergency services. Now we're going to go back to our uh, settings, turn off air, or turn airplane mode on, excuse me. We're going to time it to just for the sake of showing you. It takes about 30 seconds after you've entered airplane mode for the Jevy Ultra to complete the unlock. And it will give you the normal error messages that the Jevy gives uh, about SIM failure and whatnot. And that is what indicates to you that the unlock was successful. And then in a couple of moments, it'll show you T-Mobile up in the corner. And then we will show you. So there's the no SIM card error. And then there's the SIM failure error. And as you can see, the whole process took about 32 seconds there. And now we're going to come in close so that you can see that this is going to be on T-Mobile. You'll see here that it, there's Cydia, so we're showing you that it really is jailbroken and that it is on 5.0.1. You can see up in the upper left corner it's already uh, getting on uh, T-Mobile. But as you can see, this is an iPhone 4 GSM on iOS 5.0.1 and we are on T-Mobile. So those are the steps that you need to take to get your Jevy Ultra
to unlock your iPhone 4 on 5.0.1.